Hey there! Ever wondered why your old incandescent bulb burns out in a few months, but that LED bulb you just bought seems like it'll last forever? Or why one feels scorching hot while the other stays cool? In this video, we're breaking down the real differences between LED bulbs and regular incandescent ones. This isn't just a tech comparison. It's a story about how we moved from glowing filaments to tiny, energy-saving diodes. Let's shed some light on the truth behind these everyday essentials, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with how they work. A regular incandescent bulb is basically a tiny furnace. Inside the glass, there's a thin wire, a filament, made of tungsten. When electricity flows through it, the filament gets super hot. We're talking over 2000 degrees Celsius and glows brightly. That's your light source. But here's the problem. 90% of the energy it uses goes into producing heat, not light. That's wildly inefficient. Now compare that to LEDs, or light-emitting diodes. These work in a completely different way. Instead of heating something up until it glows, LEDs produce light through a process called electroluminescence. Electricity moves through a semiconductor material, and that produces light almost instantly without much heat. The result? LEDs use far less energy to produce the same amount of light and stay cool while doing it. Now let's talk energy. An old school 60 watt incandescent bulb gives you around 800 lumens of brightness. To match that, an LED only needs about eight to 10 watts. That's over 80% less energy. And if you're thinking that probably doesn't matter much, think about it this way. In a typical household with dozens of bulbs running for hours a day, that efficiency adds up your electric bill could see a noticeable drop just from switching out your lighting. On a global scale, if everyone used LEDs, we could reduce lighting electricity consumption by more than 50%. That's massive. One of the biggest differences is how long they last. A regular incandescent bulb has a lifespan of about 1,000 hours. That's a few months if you use it regularly. Halogen bulbs, a slightly more efficient cousin might get you to 2,000 hours. But LEDs, these can last 15,000 to 50,000 hours, sometimes more. That's years of use. In fact, if you only used an LED bulb for three hours a day, it could last you over 20 years. That also means fewer trips to the store, fewer ladders, and fewer replacements. Convenience-wise, that's hard to beat. Okay, here's where some people hesitate, the price tag. LED bulbs do cost more up front. While an incandescent bulb might cost less than a dollar, an LED can range from $2 to $10 or more, depending on the brand and features. But here's the catch. When you factor in energy savings and how often you'd need to replace regular bulbs, LEDs end up being cheaper over time. In most cases, the initial investment pays for itself within a year or two. So yes, you pay more now, but you save later. And it's not just a small difference. It can be significant, especially in homes or businesses with lots of lighting. Here's something you might not expect, brightness and color. People used to assume LED light was always harsh and cold. And in the early days, it kind of was. But that's changed. Now, LED bulbs come in a wide range of color temperatures, from warm yellows to daylight whites to soft, ambient tones. The packaging often shows this in Kelvins. Lower numbers, like 2700K, give you that warm, cozy glow. Higher numbers, like 5000K, are closer to daylight, great for kitchens or workspaces. Plus, LEDs offer better options when it comes to dimming, color tuning, and even smart features. You can now get bulbs that change color with your mood or schedule. 
Try doing that with an old filament bulb. Here's a real-world advantage most people overlook. Durability. Incandescent bulbs are fragile. One wrong bump and the filament breaks or the glass shatters. They're delicate by design. LEDs, on the other hand, are shock resistant. Since they don't use a thin filament, there's nothing inside to break when dropped or shaken. Many are made with plastic or impact resistant materials instead of thin glass. That makes them a better choice for outdoor lighting, workshops, or anywhere accidents might happen. Plus, they handle cold temperatures way better than regular bulbs. Another reason they're great outdoors. Now, let's zoom out for a second. When you throw away a regular bulb, you're tossing something with a very short lifespan and poor energy efficiency. Multiply that by billions of people, and you get mountains of waste and higher carbon emissions. LEDs, by contrast, are the greener choice. They last longer, use less power, and many are recyclable. Some models still have small amounts of materials like aluminum or rare earth elements, but they're being improved constantly. More importantly, by reducing electricity use, they lower the demand on power plants, which reduces greenhouse gas emissions overall. So if you're trying to live a bit more sustainably, lighting is a good place to start. Now let's clear up a few myths. Some people think LEDs take time to warm up. Not true. That's CFLs. LEDs turn on instantly. Others worry about blue light. It's true that some LEDs emit more blue light, which can affect sleep, but you can now buy warm spectrum LEDs that reduce this. And many smart bulbs even adjust automatically as the day goes on. So here's the bottom line. LEDs are better for your wallet, your time, and the planet. They last longer, run cooler, and use way less energy than traditional bulbs. So next time you find yourself in the lighting aisle, wondering if the LED is worth it, just remember, you're not just buying a bulb. You're buying fewer replacements, lower energy bills, and a small win for. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.